More cars on Hawaii roads and a growing elderly population. Not a safe combination, some believe. KITV4's Roger Mari has more on the outlook for the new year on safety efforts for drivers and Kapuna pedestrians. Well, just two days ago, the state recorded its first pedestrian fatality of the new year when a woman was hit and killed on North Nimitz and Kalihi Street. And it's a problem that might be getting worse. I think people should drive slower. I mean, after all, we're in Hawaii. What's the rush? Yeah. The elderly are at the top of the list of pedestrian victims. AARP is concerned that a high percentage of victims is over the age of 50. Because we're rapidly aging and because the number of automobiles in a fairly dense urban core continue to interact uh, in a dangerous way, uh, I don't think it's going to get better. Bruce Botorf of AARP Hawaii says it's a collaborative effort between driver and pedestrian to ensure safety, especially when the sun goes down. Drivers, of course, in a hurry to get home or going to work at that hour, and pedestrians out thinking that uh, perhaps uh, there, there's not that much traffic on the road. I look on both sides, coming sense. You can see, you know, if they're going to cross, then you got to slow down. Then I just fag the like the, the back guys. The drivers are going far too fast and um, not giving elderly people time to cross the road. And yet, some think it's the elderly who need to be mindful of the traffic rules and know their own abilities to get across quickly. I think the old people is at fault. If they don't want to watch their life, they don't want to wait because they know they're slow, they have to wait, they don't want to wait, they can kill themselves. AARP hopes to work with the city to bring down the number of elderly pedestrian fatalities. Now, AARP is currently working with the city and county of Honolulu and the World Health Organization in an initiative called Age Friendly Cities. Next month, a summit will be held, and the community is encouraged to be part of the discussion regarding the types of solutions they would like to see implemented to ensure elderly pedestrian safety. Pamela, back to you.